Welcome everyone to Cisco Canada's virtual kitchen golf show. I had <laughs> I hit this button. And I had the music playing in my ears again, and I was like, "Wow, we double take that song." But welcome everyone. We have a great show lined up. Elevating your menu for golf courses is what the show theme is today. Three shows. I have the most coolest co-host ever, Charlotte. Welcome, Charlotte, to part two of elevating your menu for golf courses. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jay, for having me. It's it's been an amazing morning so far, and I'm, I'm so excited to keep going and get into everything. We've heard some amazing trends. We've got some great insights, and I just I can't wait to see what uh, what this session brings. So really excited and looking forward to it. We got a packed house of amazing, amazing vendors and great product ideas. They have put so much work into it. I see them all in the green rooms here yeah. underneath the screen and just all the stuff that they're going to share with us today. So a couple things before we get started, folks, you can send comments in. You can write different little notes to us. Let's share your uh, comments up on the screen. Um, tell us what you think of these ideas. Is it something that we're on mark with? Today, we're really going to be focusing a lot with innovative ideas for that golf course. People are going to be going out again. We're all excited. I'm just, I get goosebumps, Charlotte about getting back out and going to restaurants again without having to worry about the restrictions and everything else and golf courses have had a great couple of years we know that but mm -hmm. this year they're yeah. going to have an explosive year of people going out there and dining and sharing and having great food in these clubhouses and at the halfway house and all these vendors are going to share these great ideas that you can use also today we have a qr code that's going to come up on the screen our producer is going to put them up and you can take your phone Take a picture. That QR code is going to send you to Cisco's item enrichment pages that you can see. It's got the code on there. So you can write the code down, save the code for to buy the products later. Or you can read all the great information that the item enrichment pages have. And they're awesome. And also, you can watch your show on demand. You can watch it later tonight. We're going to rebroadcast it tonight. But you can watch it li or li not live, but you can watch as much as you want um, later on on YouTube. You can watch it on Facebook. And you now can watch it on Spotify as Spotify has granted Cisco Virtual Kitchen, the video part of Spotify. So we're all cool now and you can watch it on your phone and you can really binge watch all weekend on this stuff. So take notes, take the ideas. We're going to stamp some of the chapters today within the shows in different spots and put those into the list on YouTube. So if you want to look at different ideas from a lot of the vendors, you can just run, scroll right to that point into the show and watch as much as you want when you want. That's what we do. That's what we do at the SVK Network. And Jay, we're always cool at S SVK. Always. <laughs> always we are cool. the coolest, hottest show that you can watch. <laughs> we're not so like the, the fake coolest. stuff out there. There's fake stuff out there, folks. There isn't. This is, it's true This talk. is real, real. Talk. Yeah. It's you might see a dog talk. today that comes up behind Jeanette, right? Like, we don't know what's going to happen today. That's what's beauty. But this is what Cisco's about. We're real. We're authentic. And that's what we love working for this great company and the great stuff and the great ideas that we have with the great people that work for us. That's what makes us so cool to be a part of. And uh, I'm excited. So Katie, let's bring in these amazing folks and let's hear what they're going to be sharing with us. And then we're going to render a commercial, come back and get right into it. So I'm going to turn my camera off. Let's turn our cameras off. So these so we showcase the rock stars. Oh, perfect. Let's showcase all these amazing chefs. So awesome. Exciting. So let's go over to Kristen, all the way from Edmonton, where it's beautifully sunny, hot, no snow. I'm lying. It's freezing cold. Kristen, yeah, I'm Rocks. from Calgary, Kristen, and I'm looking outside right now, and I feel your pain. <laughs> oh, man. I, I know. I was talking with that, Jay. I'm looking at the snow coming down, and I'm channeling golf season. That's so awesome. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen with Lepaco Paper Products, here to show you today some fantastic Cisco branded disposable products that are meant to enhance your member and guest experience as well as providing you some cost savings. So we're gonna take a little magical tour around the guest washrooms and then also talk about some tabletop items later in the segment. I can't wait to see you there. Thanks everyone. Wow. Kristen, you're made for TV. <laughs> well, that was really good, eh? Katie, know, make a note. I love my napkin, so stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go over to Richard, also definitely. known as the food to TikToker of food service. You know, definitely a hard intro to follow. You know, on golf courses, <laughs> Lester's is well known for our 
are all beef hot dogs, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. While I'm here repping Marwood Golf Course in Wasaga Beach, Ontario, the best golf course up here, we're going to talk about a beautiful handheld for the breakfast, and then we're going to talk about a bowl. Yeah, a bowl that's made from a typical Philly sandwich. So we've got a couple of great recipes we're going to show you, and hopefully, hopefully the snow will melt soon and we can all go out and hit the course and enjoy these great, great recipes. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Richard. You know, it's going to go right from snow to golfing right away. I'm hoping so. Yeah, I, I got I got the feeling. I got the feeling. I got the feeling. That's awesome. So let's go over to the ladies there with this beautiful <laughs> spread of desserts. Debbie, Jacqueline, wow. thank you so much for joining us. What are we going to be thank seeing from so Wow Desserts? What are we going to see from you guys? Um, what are we going to see from Wow Factor? Desserts. I'm Debbie. I'm president and owner of Wow Factor Desserts. And for those of you who don't know, uh, it's a family run business and we just turned 40 this year. So we're really pleased to be here and to showcase everything that we have. I'm actually going to be playing another role in taking going behind the camera and filming Jacqueline. So if you see me disappear, I'm going to let her take it away, but we're super excited. <laughs> Hi, Hi, I'm Flowers. How are you? Um, we're here to show you such great dessert, elevating the golf course menu. This is always great. Dessert elevates everything. So we'll be talking about um, single serve, slices, sheet cakes. We'll be wowing you with lots of great desserts. I love it. I love it, Jacqueline. We, we, we're going to officially call this the Debbie camera. The Debbie cam. <laughs> the Debbie cam. It's Debbie cam. It's Debbie cam. Look at that. But Jacqueline, wow. I could just. different hats in this company, I'll tell you. <laughs> you could just jump through the screen right now. That that spread is just, un, it's wow. Yeah, it's, it's wow. wow. It's wow. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to go through and we'll show you each of the things that we have prepared. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, let's go over to Jeanette. Jeanette, let's, let's, the legend. Uh, been on the show a thousand times yeah it feels like home it's good it's good i, I didn't jam you into a car this time i didn't put you yeah. in a car I tried to cook out of a car which you did cook crazy out of a car I'm, what do we see i'm about to juggle but that's not going to go well i'll uh <laughs> i'll put that down <laughs> safer oh, believe me <laughs> um jay we can do that in the car that could be a fun one again anyway <laughs> Um, we are going to play with some uh, bakery products today. We're going to play with some panini. We're going to play with some tortilla. We're actually going to turn tortilla into pizza and put some taco, make a taco out of a panini. So we're going to taco change out of a panini. Oh, we're wow. Gonna Love it. Today <laughs> and talk about cross utilization and try to keep elevating that menu, right? Get some ideas out there. Jenna, are you trying to wreck Taco Tuesday? <laughs> no, no. I'm taking it to a whole other level. So okay. then we'll have to have Thursday on then too. Talk exactly. Tuesday Talk about Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. Jeanette did it. Awesome. Jeanette did it. Thanks so much. Let's go to the show here. Welcome. Your first show, hey. first time on SVK. Yeah. Wow. wow. This is the, this is a new network. I didn't this know SVK a was a thing. Yeah. It's, a huge it's, thing. It's, it's the biggest thing in food service right now. Jeez. And I'm going to start by exposing Jay for what yeah. he is. Which is a six-year-old because he likes hot dogs with ketchup and mayonnaise. <laughs> on so a toasted, on a toasted a bread. Toasted bread. Uh, toasted bread. Forget Jay for a second. We're going to take the idea of sausages on a bun, put a little gourmet twist on them, make them leaner for spring and summer. And we're wow. going to do the same with burgers. So I'm with Butterball Canada. We're doing turkey burgers, turkey sausages, all the flavor, little gourmet twists. It's going to be great. And sorry, Jay, no ketchup and mayonnaise here. We're no going to ketchup do a little and fancy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, let it, I'll let it slide, buddy. I'll let it slide. <laughs> awesome. Charlotte, are you excited? Are you excited for part two? Oh, I, I'm just over the moon. I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. But like you, Jay, to be honest with you, I I just, I, I dig my hot dog. Keep yeah. it simple. And I do. And I I'm it. a huge Mayo fan. So I, I mm. dig what you're putting down. Love it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we'll be back, folks. We're going to run a little commercial here. And then we'll be back and we'll be diving in. Hey there, Jeffrey Root, Culinary Innovation for Pasta Montana. Want to show you real quick a fantastic new pasta dish that you can serve. Center the plate, get you great revenue. I have fire roasted peppers stuffed with our Ditalini pasta, fresh ground lamb, pine nuts, pomegranate, onion and garlic. It's tossed in a tomato broth 
great center of the plate. I've got plenty more ideas. Let me know how I can support you. Thank you again. All right, let's go over to Kristen. Let's go over, let's let's go to Lepaco. All right, guys, picture this. Your member guest has just finished their round. Now they're heading into the clubhouse and their first stop is going to be, of course, the guest wash room to freshen up. So what I'm gonna do today is talk to you and do a quick demo on guest towels. And okay. you're asking me right now, hey, why, why are you doing a cutting on guest towels? I'm gonna show you how you can save money by upgrading and moving up to a thicker material. I so, don't believe it, Kristen. I don't believe it. There's no We're gonna demo it. I'm so pumped to be, I've been waiting to do this at food shows with a spray bottle and everything else. We're doing it live stream on SVK for the first time. And okay. here we go. So this is what you're typically gonna see when you walk into the guest washroom, right? There's gonna be a yeah, pile yeah. of guest towels and it could either be by the sink or something similar on the wall in a dispenser. So I'm gonna wet my hands. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to reach with my wet dripping hand and I'm going to grab one of these towels. So immediately, now other piles are starting to move and start to create a mess. I'm going to start drying. Okay. As you can see, I'm already soaking through here. My hand is still soaking. So we're going to toss this aside. Now I'm grabbing from the messy pile and we're gonna continue on. My hand is still wet. I'm not going to go into the dining room with soaking hands, so I'm gonna grab my third unit. Okay. Okay, I'm finally dry. Keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna wet my hands again and I'm gonna grab our Cisco brand new linen guest towel, which is new up in Canada here. So I'm gonna give my hand a nice wipe. Amazing. Now I wish you could feel my hands through the screen. I know you can't, but what I'm telling you is my hands are completely dry from this one unit. I've further done a demo unit on this and I've actually washed my hands three times and completely dried it before this thing was completely saturated. I don't know if you can see the watermarks, but it's hardly even, it's hardly even soaked. It's unbelievable. So let's revisit this again. Here's my three units that I've used to get my hands pretty dry versus my one unit. Think about that over time and think about those cost savings that moving over to the Cisco brand new linen guest towel can create for you. You guys in the next segment thanks so much wow i think he does how much you would you save that that's huge that's right. amazing Over time, think about it yeah totally totally i love that Kristen. thank you so much the qr code came up did you see how cool that was charlotte oh that was amazing and that i checked cool. it out and the the presentation on the linen napkin is just gorgeous on there so great photos as well too love it Awesome stuff. Thanks, Kristen. We're going to go over to the legend TikToker, Richard. <laughs> you know, what? Goes, never going to leave that know, down. We're getting the rock star poses. We're yeah. getting it all. I love it. I love it. That's what you get. You know, you can check out my show, Food Service versus TikTok, <laughs> coming up on March 16th at 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's really funny. You know, yeah, we're really fun, starting buddy. to think outside the bun when it comes to the recipes, not only on the food service show, uh, the TikTok show, but also on the ingredient show here today. We're really going to think outside the bun. One of the new things that we've launched at Lester's is a shaved steak. And as beef is starting to really make a huge comeback on menus, they're really, you know, squeezing in between the chickens and the turkeys and all the other things. Um, I really wanted to get a healthier take on what is a traditional golf course sandwich, the Philly steak and cheese. So what I wanted to start with here is a bowl. So in my bowl here, I have a little bit of just some steamed rice, just plain, nothing there, just plain rice. And that's just going to give you the basis of what we're going to build on here. And then I just sauteed off in a pan some peppers and some shaved steak from Lester's. It comes fully cooked, sliced. All you do is heat and serve. 
I give it a little bit of a saute in a pan. Oh, look at that QR code over there. Backwards. Uh, <laughs> do you like that, Richard? I do like that. You know, I Isn't think cool. I think, I think people should just you know hold their phones up to the screen right now and just give that a little give that a little click. Richard wants the most I'm, QR I'm code on it, clicks. Yeah, the most clicks. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's kind so of a cool. thing. It's kind of a thing. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> back to my bowl. So we're just gonna take some <laughs> some shaved steak and some and some sauteed peppers. We're just gonna build out our bowl a little bit like this. Make sure you get some good beef on top because that's what customers are paying for. So that's what that's going to look like. And then to finish this off, we're just going to use the uh, the standard accoutrement. Here we have some steak spice, just a little bit. This stuff's very, very, very powerful. A little bit goes a long way. Mm -hmm. I have some jalapeno. I think I said Can that you right. taste man. those for us, Richard, just to make sure Good those are man. fresh? Yeah, I'm going to take a, I'm just going to take a small pass on that one, if that's okay. <laughs> and then I'll give a shout out to my friends over at McCormick. I'm using their cheese sauce today. It's a powdered cheese sauce. It's what happens a lot of the places. Not everyone's got the it's time. Nothing wrong with it. You can say powder. It's not a bad it's word. Powder. It's fine. It's not. It's not a crime. But you know what? A, a traditional Mornay sauce is hard to keep hot. It's hard to work yeah. with in, in a restaurant. Keep consistent. A powdered solution works. And if you want a little trick, brown some butter in a pan, and take off the clarified brown butter and, and mix it into your sauce when you're making it. It'll give it that shine on top and it'll totally distract your guests from the fact that it's powdered. It'll, it'll cover all that up and, and it'll make it taste authentic and amazing. So a little bit of McCormack cheese sauce here on top because what would a Philly cheesesteak be without the cheese and the steak? And that's done. Italiano parsley as a garnish. And then my friends over at the Bent Taco in Collingwood, when they send us uh, takeout food, they always send us little reusable takeout containers for sauces So uh, for their nachos. So I'll just put a few little drops, a little drizzle of barbecue sauce on top of that just to finish it off. Hey, look, I made a mess already on my board. Wow. And that there is how you make a think outside the bun cheesesteak sandwich. So we got the rice, the Lester shaved steak, sauteed bell peppers, cheese sauce, don't forget the brown butter, jalapenos, and some fresh parsley and barbecue sauce to garnish. Love it. And if Beautiful. that's not healthier than a hot dog, I don't know what it is personally. No bun intended. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> no bun intended. Ha, 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 ha. Love it, Richard. Thank you so much. You know what? That'd be really good for to go to, right? To go to you know, dinners. I did bowls. have, um, I think it was Gallimore sent me some takeout containers for a yep. previous show and I was going to use them because it's likely that this would be served in, a, in like a bento box or whatever yeah. Yeah. Uh, to take away. Yep. Uh, I just didn't have one that was a really great size to show the portioning. They sent me some really big ones and uh, they do have ones that are the appropriate size for this. I just didn't have any in-house today, but I would definitely put this in a little box that you can close the lids on and put a little bamboo fork in there and off you go onto the course. Love it, man. Well done. I got Great product. Idea. Lots of labor savings too with the pre-cook, with the cheese sauce, lots of labor savings too. Yeah, value-added heat and serve. It's the way to make yeah. profits in the kitchen these days, especially when you're talking proteins. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, let's go over to Debbie and Jacqueline with Wow Factor Desserts oh. and, and the Debbie Cam. All right. There you go. Yep. Hi, guys. So welcome back to Wow. So talking golf, we keep saying that the favorite season is spring, but I say golf is our favorite season. And we start with our golf ball sheet, uh, sheet cake. So this is a 12 by 16 um, cake, sheet cake. It has 36 pieces. So each one of the pieces are pre-scored. They have a little golf ball sitting on top of it. And there's so much you can do with this guy. So you have chocolate cake, you have a cream mousse, you have chocolate on top and these golf balls. So there's, you can cut each piece out, pull it out and then plate them. You can pull the um, golf ball up. It's hollow, it's white chocolate. Fill it with fruit, fill it with custard, fill it with yogurt. Mm -hmm. You can fill it with Zambuca, don't say I said it, and flame it. I mean, that is an amazing dessert. You can do so much more to that dessert. So again, elevating our thought and what dessert is and how we do it on the golf course. We look at the golf cart, pulling in our loaves. 
we have six loaves. This is what we're showing here, our banana loaf. It is 15 Ooh. inches long, 19 slices in there, and you can pull them out, wrap them nicely, put whatever sticker you want to put on there, put them in the golf cart with your pops, grab your nice little baggies and have them ready for the teams, ready to go. So much you can do with, the, um, with our loaf, six flavors. Then we look at our individual desserts. They can be packaged, ready to run, or beautifully plated with whatever you like. Fruit and dessert goes fantastically. This is our lemon lavender cheesecake. Again, anything that you'd like to put with it to bring out those great flavors. Spring uh, lavender. Then we have coconut. This beautiful guy is a coconut. For all who does not know, that is a coconut. And we've used them in a couple of different items. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Was that a job, Jack? That's a good looking coconut. I think that was a job. Yeah, yeah. Jay, this is a coconut. <laughs> This is okay, the coconut. And it came with the straw too, it imagine. It came with the straw. <laughs> really? No way. So showing you how we've actually used this coconut in a couple of desserts, we have our apple crisp. Mm -hmm. This little guy comes in a case of 30 pieces. You pull one out, you drop it in a ramekin. You they come it round? The wave, and it seems like you baked it yourself. We're talking about a minute. But a regular microwave from frozen, ready to serve. A dollop of ice cream will just go wonders. Put it on a plate, put some coolie on, put some fruit on. You can have such a beautiful dessert. Again, elevating everything that you do, thinking outside of the box of how you can do it. We're introducing our new coconut cream pie cheesecake. Mm. Again, Jay, coconut, coconut cream, cream pie, pie cheesecake. cheesecake. Okay. Yes, this is a creamy, beautiful <laughs> coconut cream pie cheesecake mm -hmm. on top of a dusty graham crown base. Amazing, amazing dessert. And I can show you here how beautiful that guy is. And then we have some mousse on top and more toasted coconut. So Jacqueline, you know what's missing from that spread? You know what's fantastic. missing? Do you know what's, what's, missing? what's missing? You know what's missing? What forks. is? Where's the forks? That, where's all the where's you're all the, right. where, you're where's right. the tasting forks? <laughs> Come on. You got oh, anything Jay, else? You don't you don't need a fork. You just bring that plate right up to your mouth. Bring the plate right up to your mouth. You got the coconut <laughs> and now uh, where's the forks? Come you guys on. are all Jay, I know. You're all welcome to come over and help us eat exactly. all of these. Exactly. <laughs> we'll have that. We'll have Debbie's address on the bottom of the screen later on today. <laughs> and of course, we wanted to bring your eyes to this beautiful range of um, citrus. Again, so going into spring, the colors are beautiful. And then you think of the lemon. So we have this item here, and this is our brand new pucker up, pucker up lemon. Lemon cup cake. Lemon cup cake. Lemon cake. <laughs> Got it, Jane. So, did Debbie, did you come up with that name? It's, like, it's a Debbie name. Hilarious. Debbie, did you make that name for that cake? We did. Oh, we made up that name. Absolutely. I was going to say, I could tell. This, yeah, it looks awesome. It's better than calling it a four layer lemon cake, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, you have three beautiful layers here. You have a lemon cream cheese frosted inside. You have a beautiful lemon. Uh, lemon um, uh, mirror glaze on top. It is just so amazing. So every bite you get that, um, you get a lemon flavor. So guess what you do? Pucker up. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Excellent. So We're that's good. what I wanted to show you. And then we can, can we move over to the rest of my spring launch? Are you ready for this? Uh, do you want to do it on the next take? Yeah, let's do the next take. We'll come back, folks. Yeah, let's good. go over to Jeanette. All right. right. Well, Factor people, you're always so excited about your Disney products because they're so good. But yes. we're going to be and right back. Thing, everything is pre-sliced, so you're ready yeah. to package and go put it in your golf cart, take it out on the course, or beautifully plate it for your, for your guests. It is just an amazing thing. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Jacqueline. We'll be right back. We're going to go over yep. to Jeanette. And let's see the crazy wreck taco Tuesday for me <laughs> on ideas. What are we working on, Jeanette? So I see I've been putting, doing some putting practicing in the background here, just you know, keeping myself busy. Um, so we are going to talk paninis first. Um, this is a product that is in so many kitchens. 
Um, so many golf courses, easy application for sandwiches. I made up one of my new favorite recipes here in front of me. It's for another show, perhaps a little pulled chicken, a little apple, a little raspberry jam. Nice. But, see, did I get you on that one, Jay? Did you put jam in there? Yep. So Charlotte, is that allowed? <laughs> of course it's allowed. Okay. Just jam checking. is good with everything. Just checking. I don't know. See, but this is where I like to keep you guessing, Jay. So wrapped up, ready to go. This is an idea of panini is a great idea, whether it's going to go out, uh, you know, at the halfway house and onto the course, or whether it's going to be plated for, um, you know, back at the clubhouse or on that patio. So I'm going to tuck that finished one aside there for a moment as it unrolls. Hey, Jeanette, when was the panini made? Invented? The panini? No, when was the panini invented? Oh, see, now you're going to have to tell me I that. Know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's okay, Jeanette. He does it to me as well. <laughs> you know, just throw out a number. Go he, like 50 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I created it. No. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, I should know better. I've done this enough times. I know, exactly. I always throw those history questions out. <laughs> so we're going to take this panini. Now, these ones don't come cut. So I just hinge sliced it. So meaning that we're not gonna cut it all the way through because that's gonna help hold those ingredients in. So here's where we get our taco fillings because why do taco fillings just have to go on tortillas? They don't, right? Mm -hmm. This is where we end up getting something creative. So I've got all my taco fillings. I'm actually gonna start with some sour cream. And you know, this is where we, we remember right now that coming out of all of this crazy pandemic, we are still craving comfort food. So this lets us elevate that a little further, a little guac. And you could go with, you know, pieces of avocado on this if you wanted to, too. A little guac. Now, Jay, you actually featured this product on the SVK on Friday. This is the Cisco brand Mexican ground beef. Yes, yes, we did. Nice. Hey, Chef Alley, we did, we did. I heard a lot of good stuff about it. Right, so this is an easy application, safe sous vide product. Throwing that on that panini. A little tomato. Actually, I'm gonna cut that tomato. Make it fit a little better. Cut that tomato, throw that on, and finish with a little cheese. And again, you've got all those amazing toppings. And we're gonna take that and throw that on the panini press. Um, because what ultimately happens is that's an amazing sandwich, but it could be a messy one. By throwing it on that panini, you're actually gonna get an easier sandwich to eat, a little less messy. So, I've already done one over here. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise! Surprise. You know the thing, you got to talk a little bit about Western products because they kick butt. <laughs> they do. They really do. Like, the buns are so good. They're easy, right? Like, I just love it. And Katie's got a great thing here, too. Just often, the, you know, you can do pre-made meals and stuff like that with these paninis. Because right? they hold up. They're tough. They're good. So this panini is actually an amazing one to use and pre-make, right? So you yeah. can be putting together those sandwiches, whether it's for the halfway house, whether it's that quick grab and go stuff, or whether you're pre-making to serve in the dining, you can do that with this product. It's gonna hold beautifully in the fridge and you're going to still end up with that beautiful product in the end. So you can see that panini all nice and finished with some beautiful grill marks on it. You can brush it with a little olive oil if you like as well. Um, I like to take that one and just give it a quick, quick cut, but that's going to give you your taco. Um, finish oh. that off with maybe some tortilla chips because, you know, it's a taco panini. Um, finish that up with some tortilla chips and it's a beautiful option for, you know, patio or dining room service. Love it. That's there gorgeous. There you go. Panini. Simple yeah. idea. Panini. And we're coming back with tortilla pizza. Because why not? Pizza. Oh. Why not wreck tortillas now? <laughs> you wreck no. Taco Tuesday. No, no. Elevating. Yeah. Elevating. Sorry. 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 Yeah. Elevating. I love it. <laughs> Jeanette, I'm with stuff. you. I'm on your side. I got you. Oh, I got oh you. My God. Right. We'll take them on I together. Got you. All right, Charlotte. Let's go to Shahir. <laughs> and let's see what, what he's cooking up in his kitchen. So much elevation today, Jay. We're elevating. I know. I know. We're, We're elevating. We're not talking on. <laughs> Smack talk increases each show. We got one more show today. Yes. It Good. just gets worse and worse. What are we working on? So check it out. Before we do our smoked sausages, we're going to do that later. We're going to talk burgers. And while I personally might not know anything about golf, Egyptian people tend not to know about golf. I do know 
that burgers never go out of style. You need burgers on your menu, and a turkey burger is a great option for you know those guests that want something maybe a little bit lighter. So we're talking about our Butterball 5-ounce turkey burger. A couple great things about this product. Cook from frozen, so consistent results, seven minutes per side, seven to eight minutes really. Uh, check for your internal temp of 165, but I mean, it's dummy proof. It's a dummy proof burger, low labor, low chance of cross contamination. I grilled these up on my grill pan here at home, but of course, an outdoor grill, super easy to do. And we're gonna build up this burger. I've got a little brioche bun that we've toasted, of course. And we're gonna keep it light and springy and summery. So a little bit of avocado on each side. Why not? <laughs> right? You or ketchup and mayonnaise for you, Jay. Or ketchup and mayonnaise. That's no, also no, no. Fun. I'm avocado, buddy. I'm avocado. Little avocado. We've got the beautiful grill marks on that burger. Again, seven nice. minutes. Seven minutes from frozen. Like, it's unbelievable. We're going to go in with a little Monterey Jack cheese, but get creative. Aged cheddar, Gouda would be amazing here. And then, thinking about spring, summertime, this is where you can get those beautiful heirloom tomatoes. Different colors. Nice. Right? You got those in Toronto? Really red. You got those in, where'd you get those? In Toronto? That brings yeah. it up. They're gorgeous. Now, right. now I'm, I'm projecting here. Wait till they're in season when okay. they're going to be <laughs> mwah. That's when you want. But imagine how that reads on your menu. It's not just a boring old turkey burger. You say it's a turkey burger with heirloom tomato and guacamole and this and that. It's going to sell. A little bit of shredded lettuce. Also, a great opportunity here to add on some turkey bacon. Turkey keeping bacon. it light, keeping it lean. Absolutely. Top so it off. turkey burgers really that much healthier for you? So here's the thing. Obviously, it's less fat. Okay. But I love turkey burgers because it's a blank canvas. Here, I've dressed it up with that avocado and the heirloom tomato. But you can go any which direction. You could make it, you know, that taco version of a turkey burger if you wanted to. But it no, seems like you've had enough we're taco. We're not going to record taco there. Tuesday. But that's but, why I love it I love because that. it's obviously leaner. And it's the right size. Five ounces for me is the right portion size. Mm -hmm. It becomes a blank canvas. And you also get that feeling of a juicy burger. I've tried other leaner burgers. I've tried chicken burgers, other turkey yeah. burgers. I feel like we've nailed it in terms of mouthfeel, in terms of seasoning. You can't go wrong. Love it. Look love at this man. bad boy. Yeah. I love a turkey well, I'm in. burger. I don't think I'm we in. Have, we got to get more turkey right? burgers on menus. We can really yeah. Get... Because we're a turkey know. club burger. Make a note. Huh. Make a note, Charlotte. <laughs> note is being made. We need more in the turkey burgers. More love turkey it. burgers. Man. I love the idea of combining it with the turkey bacon too. So you're keeping For it sure. all lean across. What a great situation. Keeping it lean. Also, if someone has a dietary restriction, maybe they don't eat pork. Go yeah. turkey all the way with the patty, with the bacon. Call it your turkey club burger. It's going to be the best seller. For sure. Love it. Great love well done. Right here. Love it. Right here. I love it. Love it. Great ideas. Charlotte, we got to make a note. We got to get more golf courses doing the turkey burger. I think it's, yes. it's, I think it's really, we have to get more people doing the turkey burger, but let's yeah. start with our world takeover with the golf courses. Exactly. Let's do that. <laughs> turkey we'll do that. takeover. Turkey takeover. Yes. I love it. Shahira, thank you so much. So we're going to break thank for a guys. quick commercial, really quick one. We're going to come back round two, but we're going to get round two, but right in the middle of it, Charlotte, Chef Charlotte's going to show up and rock what? the house with some more what? product ideas. Yeah. What? Chef Charlotte. This is happening? Chef Charlotte. Again? Exactly. We're going to have Chef Charlotte's going to come on again. We're going to do a little Maple Leaf live commercial. But thanks again, Shahir. So, Katie, let's thanks, roll guys. a quick commercial. Be right back for round two. Cisco is Canada's leading restaurant supplier, with more than 14 locations across the country, servicing every province and territory. We're right. grateful yeah. for our partnerships and proud to service our customers from St. John's, Newfoundland to Victoria, BC. With the most distribution sites in Canada, we are recognized for our national reach and local connection. Cisco services every community size, from every major city to every small town. We are relentlessly innovating to ensure you have the products and services you need, no matter your location, with a coverage area that's continuously expanding. A partnership with Cisco guarantees access to the industry's best distribution network, keeping you on trend and stocked with fresh products and fresh ideas. Cisco Canada provides a broad range of food and non-food products to both independent and chain restaurant customers and other away from home locations such as healthcare and educational facilities. 
No matter your cuisine type or culinary capabilities, we can help. Our products are sourced locally in Canada and within our specialized global network of responsible suppliers. Our categories include meat and poultry, seafood, dairy, produce, bakery and desserts, food service supplies, beverages, specialty and world food products, and pantry staples. Locally focused, our regional teams provide the hands-on customer service that sets us apart, ensuring you have what you need when you need it. Visit cisco.ca to learn more. Awesome. So welcome back everyone to Cisco's Virtual Kitchen, elevating your menu for the golf course 2022 season. And we're back, Charlotte. Charlotte. Yes. Let's see what Lepaco can blow our I'm mind here. again with. Oh, I did. well, I've already, I've already been blown away by those linen napkins because I know yeah. what what a pain it is when you use the facilities and you use twenty things to dry your hands. So well, they're always they're always they're like, they always use the cheap ones, and right? it's falling like, apart, and yeah, it's you creepy. know you're getting pieces of paper towel on your fingers, and now yeah. I got to wash my hands again. So. You know, yeah. Richard, that's on the show today, he totally, like, he loses sleep over that stuff. Right? I love he what does. you guys are putting down there. You feel in my pain on this. We've all I'm experienced feeling. that, right? So Richard's that crying so in his kitchen right solution. now. He's on the floor <laughs> crying in the green room. He gets sad about this stuff, man. So, Kristen, what, what are we awesome. working on now? Let's go net round two. Sounds good. Okay, so your member or guest has now moved onto the patio or dining room and they're ordering a refreshing beverage. So Jay, pop quiz, what goes great with a refreshing beverage? A straw. <laughs> oh, no, your beverage napkin. Okay, I know, no. I know, I know. I just I like so that. Oh, and I someone can reinvent some straw. So close. You need a great beverage napkin under that beautiful beverage that you've ordered. So I'm going to show you guys a couple options today. So first thing we're going to show is our Cisco branded. I'm going to hold this up so you can see it in the background. Cisco branded two-ply black beverage napkin. Give, your, give this QR code a scan. The amazing thing, this is stocked across Canada and it looks beautiful on any tabletop. Next you know thing, what? I, I've used those before back in the day and they are, I love black napkins. I think they're classy. Yeah. Exactly. It's a classic. It's a classic. So if we want to enhance and look, take your beverage napkin up a notch, we can look at doing a custom print item for you. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of what we can do here. The cool part is, is that when we provide pricing on our beverage napkins, that includes the front as well as the back of the napkin. So what you're able to do is perhaps put your company logo on the front here and then flip around. If you want to do profile, maybe your social media platforms, that's really popular with us right now. Everybody wants to showcase where they're located and what social media platforms they're on, or maybe even a special message from your club. We're able to do that. Uh, golf courses are one of our top customers of custom prints, and that's because the members and guests love that attention to detail. So I'll catch you guys later on in the segment where we're gonna talk some great other tabletop options and dinner napkins. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, Charlotte, did you know that those napkins, Kristen, can you throw that black one up again? Yep. They're made in Canada. Oh, yes. shout out, shout out to the nation. I love Guys, it. Guys, the stuff I'm showing you today, we are local Canadian. Everything is local manufactured, local in Canada, which is really exciting. How cool is that? Wow. Well done. Can you imagine awesome. if you put, even on the, the printing of the napkin, you pop those QR codes on there? So then you can no. scan them, go straight to Which, Facebooks and all that cool stuff. And we can do that. <gasps> you know See? what? That's huge. It's huge. So, you know, who's going to want that is the next, the next chef is Richard. <laughs> Let's bring Richard in. Richard, yeah, Richard well. wants his own QR, QR code. Yeah. 
<laughs> what do I get picked on for the cocktail napkins and serviettes discussion? <laughs> the only thing I need is a tissue for when I go on TikTok and one of my videos doesn't go viral and dry my tears so so quietly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, well, right. well. So back to golf course food here today, folks. Um, so my first dish, as you know, was uh, I think outside the bun. It was a Philly steak. Uh, awesome. I'm going to enjoy that after the show. My second one, we're going to do breakfast. And you guys have seen me show the breakfast sausage here before. It's one of my favorite things. Uh, Bonnie Lester, she's got this recipe down to a T. They put something in there that makes it, it's just craveable. And that's the best way. Breakfast sausages, not typically the thing that gets that whoo, but I'm telling you, my family loves these things. So I'm going to do a little wrap because handhelds on the golf course for breakfast are pretty much a thing to do. So we'll start off with some egg. And yes, I use real egg, but you can use a liquid egg to make a little omelet to go on the bottom of a wrap. It's probably a little bit easier than scrambling eggs. Then I'm going to add a little homage to our friends over at Tim Hortons who are like, hey guys, why not put a hash brown inside the wrap? Not only does it fill it up in great, great value, but it's actually interesting to eat and give some texture. So I'm just going to lay that out on top. And now for the bit that we're all here for is the sausages. So some uh, Lester's breakfast sausage. It's a pure pork. Tastes great. You can throw them in the deep fryer. You can put them on the grill top. Any way you want to cook them, they're going to work. Uh, 12 to a pound. And I'll just put some on there like that. To make it fresh. Oh, look at that. QR code. Just oh. like that, Richard. Just like that. And you know what? Folks, take a second. Hold up your phones and give that a little scan. And take a look at what you can actually get. And hopefully put it onto your next order. Um, okay, back to my sandwich. So uh, a really good handheld has some great fresh ingredients as well. Uh, I like avocados and if you just break them apart like that, just take a little avocado and squeeze some of it out onto the wrap. As so, I don't want to give too much, but uh, just enough to make it interesting. Uh, mayo Racha. I'm using some store-bought stuff because I don't have any food service stuff in handy. If anybody over at Kraft Heinz or uh, uh, any of the other sauce makers, Lynch, whatever wants to send me a case, no problem. Be happy to use your, your uh, mayo racha. Oh yeah, I'm making a mess of this. All right, good stuff. And my last fresh ingredient, a little bit of rocket, arugula, whatever you want to call it. I put that in there now and we'll give that a wrap up. Wrapping is so hard. You know, when you go to like, uh, you go to the burrito shops and you like thrown in like a million bad choices into that burrito. And then no matter what you put in there, somehow they can just wrap that up perfectly. It's like, oh, can I just go volunteer for a day to learn how to do that? Because I cannot, uh, I cannot wrap with such great ease. Those little hands you should be able to. <laughs> oh, my oh, okay. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I cut up some bamboo skewers here to make a toothpick. <laughs> just you know, you know, Jay, it's, it's <laughs> only noon here in Alberta. So, you know. It's a long day. <laughs> I am holding a rather large and very sharp chef knife. <laughs> little ways to get me, buddy. <laughs> I'll take a Dodge Convoy out to Alberta there. And... Anyway. Right. <laughs> no, i give that a little cut down the middle. That's a nice wrap. Looking sharp, looking it sharp. Does look okay. You know what? So there you have it. It's a good little handheld. You got some egg, you got some breakfast sausage, some hash brown, because hey, what would breakfast be without some hash brown? Some avocado, mat, uh, mayo, sriracha, sriracha mayo, whatever you want to call it, and some rocket or arugula. I think it's great. How would I plate this? Oh, well, I would put it on a plate for sure. Um, but definitely uh, give that some salsa because avocado, rocket, egg, sausage, <laughs> salsa, some orange slices to make you remember that, I don't know, 1985 was a thing in the restaurant industry and off you go. Awesome, Richard. Killing it again, buddy. Thank you. That's, That's the cleanest white plate ever. You I know, know. It's so nice. <laughs> You know, presentation and, and no is... sprig of rosemary, so thank you for that. Yeah, I should have yeah, stuck that in the top, you know, maybe get a little char with a lighter. Mm. 1995 <laughs> can come true. Yeah. yeah. Well, Charlotte, I just texted a whole country 
that you're ready to prep for your commercial. <laughs> so, oh, I am really. <laughs> apparently, okay, that's not the did, private. Give me like that's not seconds, the private right? button, Katie. Oops. That's the. Uh, is that the that's, live commercial? That, that was the live that's commercial. Really, can you prep? That's really live great. Yeah, you, can prep. That you can prep for it. Yeah. That's so how I'm we just roll gonna here. Give me about uh, yeah, about 20, 30 seconds, and all maybe. Right. Uh, well, let's go to yeah, Debbie Richard and Jacqueline. Continue talking about all his uh, great garnishing skills. <laughs> let's go over <laughs> Jeanette. Let's go over to Debbie and Jeanette. Just get your hands over the wow, the wow factor place there, Richard. Well, yeah, I know. Look at that kitchen. That's a stunning kitchen. I know. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Hey, Jay. I'm having a little bit of a, a hard time hearing you. Uh, do I need to scream? Because I can scream. Well, you know, if screen yeah. makes it better for you, it makes it better for me. Am I quiet? I'm not quiet. I, am I too quiet? <laughs> I can hear you now because I was missing a couple of those shots you were doing earlier. Those weren't shots. That was Katie. <laughs> See, this is why I'm saying it. That was our producer. That was our producer. She's texting me. She's like, give her a shot now. All right. Well, Let's welcome back. What are you, what is these? What are these? What are those? Uh, what are they? What, what are they? Those? What are these? Well, these are beautiful. Let me, let me just tell you one little thing here. Every year we do two launches, spring and fall. And this is the spring show. So we're talking about spring items. And these are part of our spring launch. So you saw the um, the, le the pucker up lemon, you saw the coconut cream pie, and now you're seeing our newest line. It is our baby cake line. And mm -hmm. this is an amazing lineup. So we're starting with five new items. We have a New York cheesecake. We have a baby cake red velvet. We have a baby cake chocolate cake. We have a baby cake uh, cookies and cream uh, cheesecake. And we have a baby cake turtle, um, gluten-free turtle cheesecake. So these are seven inches. So we always do these really great big cakes, 10 inches with lots of slices. These are uncut seven inch, perfect for golf courses and these are going to be moving into the retail um, sector as well so these are going to be a great great addition to any golf course you know you, you think about what you want for dessert this way golf courses can actually do individual desserts on tables think of that if they give you a choice what would you like to pick that's great five different items and they can cut them they can be selfish and not share it with the rest of the table this is how great this is. Awesome. Oh, I've heard everyone talking about QR codes. Let me tell you something. We've been using QR codes for such a long time. You're on our business yeah, Richard. cards, you're on everything. <laughs> and yes, go on a, our website, you'll see so much more. Our business cards, when you get them, you'll see that they're, they send you to places that all you want to say is, where do I get the cakes? Love it. Love it. So those are coming soon. Is that right? Those coming those soon. Yes. Part of our spring launch. So they'll be here in April. They'll be yeah. perfect. And Jay, I should purchase. add to you, this is first time we've ever done uh, packaging like this. Normally we have white food service boxes. So I'm sure a lot of our customers yeah. who are listening and watching have seen that. This is the first time we've actually gone into a retail pack where we've tried to communicate as much information as possible. Uh, our graphic designer did all the photography as well. So shout out to her. We just have an amazing graphics team. But this is a really big deal for us. This is a, a new launch with um, our whole new category called baby cakes. And they are really tiny little slices. So they're very cute on the plate. Well, they're perfect. They're perfect for sharing. They're perfect for banquets. Yeah, perfect all those different sharing. things, right? Exactly. exactly. Love it. Yep. Love it. All awesome. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So Charlotte, are we ready? Or do you want to go to Jeanette? Where are we? There's, there's Charlotte. Go. You're good to go? Okay. Let me get my stuff up, folks. This is our live commercial number two for Maple Leaf Foods. And Charlotte, what are we seeing today for Maple Leaf? Uh, right now, we have a beautiful vegetarian patty. So, so versatile. Vegetarian. Vegetarian, vegetarian patty. Vegetarian patty. You bet. So, okay. what I've done here is I've created a steakhouse double patty with mushrooms, crispy onion, a little bit of lettuce. So how amazing is that? Does that not look like a, a beef burger to you? Totally you does. I thought it was. I thought it was. No, all vegetarian. Once again, everything created with maple leaf today is vegetarian. No way. 
yeah, that's crazy cool. Look at that little barbecue sauce on there. That just, how mouthwatering is that? Incredible. It's crazy amazing. And then I did a, a really cool take on a Southwestern burger. So I got a little queso fresca, a little homemade pico de gallo, homemade guac. Uh, once again, double patty. Who who does a shy single patty? You got to go double patty. <laughs> exactly. You have to go double patty. You got to go I double patty. A and put a little provolone in there. So nice. Made it fun, but that steakhouse. Look at that. Mushrooms, everything. It's that's, oh, that's plant based. Like seriously. That's plant based. Hundred percent plant based. Can With you more cut it? On top. Can you Lettuce, cut it? Mushrooms. Can you slice it? Can you just cut that? I know I, we didn't plan that, but I gotta look inside this. It looks so beautiful. You gotta look inside. All yes, right. let's look inside. As chefs, we want to look inside. We want to see what's under the hood. So I'm gonna take Richard Sharp knife that he That's showed Richard previously. All right. Uh oh, where did she go, Katie? <laughs> we lost Charlotte on that feed. So, anyways, let's go over to Jeanette as we get Charlotte back. Jeanette, you ready? I'm ready. There you go. Much off the grill. This is just okay. <laughs> there you go. I really do eat this stuff. That's the thing. I know. That's the nice thing. Awesome. All right. Let's right. go to Jeanette here quick, folks. Okay. Oh, so Charlotte's yeah. back. Charlotte's back. Can we just hold? Yep. You just chill there for a second, Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get back. I, I I messed everything up for Charlotte and asked her to cut it. No, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that inside. Beautiful. How nice is Maple that? Maple leaf. Maple leaf crazy crazy delicious I believe you that it's not being crazy delicious oh yeah it is and and richard's knife thank you so much worked great so that's awesome <laughs> beautiful beautiful stuff so wonderful this is all the products from maple leaf that charlotte is showing today on her products it's awesome you know what this is a huge space if you're not in the veggie burger vegan plant-based burger space on your menus for golf courses i promise you please do People are looking for it. And look at that. And it also huge has value, huge value. Vegetarian bacon on it. Vegetarian bacon. Yes. Vegetarian bacon. Vegetarian Beautiful bacon. Beautiful product. So you get the bacon, you get the beef flavor, you have a little barbecue sauce, the mushrooms. Once again, add that hearty beef flavor as well, too. And you have a little lettuce. And of course, cheese. Can it, this is just loaded. Crispy so, onion. Charlotte, would you know yes. that that vegan bacon? has been be, being made like this company that makes it from light life for maple leaf has been in business for over 40 years wow. they are making products like this simple ingredients delicious taste there's minimum process to it right it's incredible 59 percent of consumers have tried plant-based proteins already 59 percent it's, it's incredible it's incredible it's, half it's of those so 59 percent it's so refreshing to see because that's where we're going in the world. We're going to those plant-based products. So it's really exciting to see that they're, they're really coming to the forefront now. So here's, I'm going to blow your mind here. With. I know, they, I'm going to blow your mind. Look, feel, taste, um, everything that uh, that a regular meat product would. So they, they you can char them. You, oh, it's just, you lie, there's just so much versatility to it. I, I'm caught for words because they're so amazing. Just caught for words. It's so totally, good. So much totally agree. To 81 81 percent of consumers know about plant-based foods options so that's a huge number so put it on your menu it's going to be huge this is from light life on maple leaf on the plant-based products unbelievable thank you maple leaf thank you chef charlotte chef charlotte's gonna come back as chef or host charlotte in a second here <laughs> yes and thank you for just lonely. These incredible products. so thank you so much what fun to work with very awesome. privileged thank you Awesome. awesome. So Katie, let's roll a quick commercial and then we'll be back with Jeanette. She's going to wreck another holiday meal thing. <laughs> right, Jeanette? I see you there. All right. Let's roll a quick commercial. Thank you, Charlotte. Maybe Thank leave you. Life. Cisco is Canada's leading restaurant supplier with more than 14 locations across the country, servicing every province and territory. We are grateful for our partnerships and proud to serve as our customers from St. John's, Newfoundland to Victoria, BC. With the most distribution sites in Canada, we are recognized for our national reach and local connection. Cisco services every community size, from every major city to every small town. 
We are relentlessly innovating to ensure you have the products and services you need, no matter your location, with a coverage area that's continuously expanding. A partnership with Cisco guarantees access to the industry's best distribution network, keeping you on trend and stocked with fresh products and fresh ideas. Cisco Canada provides a broad range of food and non-food products to both independent and chain restaurant customers and other away from home locations such as healthcare and educational facilities. No matter your cuisine type or culinary capabilities, we can help. Our products are sourced locally in Canada and within our specialized global network of responsible suppliers. Our categories include meat and poultry, seafood, dairy, produce, bakery and desserts, food service supplies, beverages, specialty and world food products, and pantry staples. Locally focused, our regional teams provide the hands-on customer service that sets us apart, ensuring you have what you need when you need it. Visit cisco.ca to learn more. Awesome, welcome everyone back to Cisco's Virtual Kitchen. Jeanette, what are we working on here <laughs> as we wrap up part two of today's golf show? Wrap up. I mean, you just said it. Ha ha ha. No. Ha ha ha. Plan. Um, <laughs> Richard showed you a, a literal wrap with a tortilla. We're going to take it outside the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Richard's little hands and little wraps. Yep. Little, right. Well, and I actually <laughs> thought of Richard when I was coming up with this stuff because there's a big TikTok trend, right? With tortillas. Um, so we're going to actually work with tortilla pizza. So again, cross utilization. Um, you're going to have tortillas in the building. Handhelds are amazing. Why not do a tortilla pizza? It's going to be less carbs. It's going to take us into that healthier direction, perhaps, um, where you can still have all the amazing flavors of pizza, but you can do it with a little healthier, right? Wow. So wow. little margarita pizza. So all I've done here, I've got it uh, two ways because I do want to quickly show you, uh, you know, that TikTok trend here as well, but simple uh, margarita style pizza. Um, we're just going to go ahead and spread that favorite tomato sauce. I use a tomato basil here. You might have a signature sauce at the course uh, or in the restaurant. So you've definitely got those options. And then if you are going to do the little fold over, which we're going to show you here, make sure you cut a little further than center. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So same recipe. I'm just going to stagger that sauce. I'm going to say Richard's taking notes down yeah. there. <laughs> Look at him. He's writing things out. I'm glad, I'm glad you said it, Jay. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't going to bug on bug him a little bit. But. Well, I figured Richard's probably already done this. So, you know. So we had some fresh mozzarella that I went ahead and sliced up there while you had other things going on. I'm just going to spread that out. And we're going to actually grill this. I need a couple pieces here for this other one. So when you, you, this can definitely go in the oven if you wish as well. Um, but on a grill, you're looking at, you know, about three to five minutes, um, 350 to 400 on the grill. It's going to just brown up beautifully. I've got one in the background, some fresh basil here. I'm just going to throw that there. Is so it basil or basil? See, I go basil. Do you go basil? Charlotte, I'm what do you basil, do? Basil girl. Basil? basil. <laughs> I'm basil too. Yeah. You know, I like to be different, Jay. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so this one's going to go over here on the grill. And I'm going to trade and bring over a finished one. So quick finish. Um, it's been on there. Um, I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of that fresh basil. Um, perhaps a touch more there, right? Finish that off. Slide it onto another board, easy to serve, easy to go out. And then there's this guy, if you want to finish this one up, I'm just going to fold it over each way. Quick, easy handheld. Throw it over here. Again, I've got one ready to go. Same idea, same product, same ingredients, versatility. Take that product and if you want to even slice it up, I'm going to grab myself a bigger knife. And it can even go in that takeout container, whatever it may be, onto the easy grab and go for the course. Gorgeous. Simple, Love it. easy, fast. 
Exactly. And it's so versatile. You can put any fillings, you can do anything with it. It's so versatile. Well, that's just it. It's, it's, it's got that you can go healthier with it. You can go vegetarian with it. You're lessening the carbs, right? It takes that healthy angle. We spend all, you know, what hours walking a course and then you get back and sit down and have a taco panini or perhaps a healthier option, right? Um, and it's all about that creativity. And this is a product that can be used across so many menu items. You don't need the extra cases. You just need to come up with creative ideas. Love it. Awesome, Jeanette. Thanks so much. You got it. Awesome. There you go, Basil. <laughs> Basil. Basil. Right. <laughs> Let's go to Shahir. <laughs> it's Basil. It's basil. It's basil? Come on. I know, I know. It's yeah. Nice. It's, it's like bagel that. versus bagel. It's bagel. <laughs> what? And bagel. Says bagel. Yeah. Who says bagel? Who says bagel? I bet you, I says bet bagel? you she says bagel. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're talking. Hey, Katie, can we change the background music? It's giving me. I'm starting to hear it without it playing. <laughs> playing so much. Oh, it, it's playing, Jay. It's it's not playing. I know. I, I can hear it's it. Too. I can it's hear it looping too. in my head. It's been looping for a while. Yeah, let's. Okay, yeah. anyways, share. Let's okay, go. What good. are we working on next? Okay, so we started off with our turkey burger, our beautiful club, you know, turkey club burger. Now we're going to talk sausages. I love this product for a couple reasons. One, it's pre smoked, so pre cooked. Hardwood okay. smoked, you get great smoke flavor. Um, and also, of course, so pre cooked means give it some slits, throw it on your grill. You're just really trying to get some char marks on the outside, heat it through, so you're a couple minutes away. You can't go wrong. Uh, the turkey sausage has also less sodium, about 38% less sodium. So a couple wow. of good reasons there. Guests are looking for less sodium, and also then your chefs can control the seasoning on your sausage. So less sodium, still all the flavor, and also we've done something really cool with the casing of the sausage. Sometimes on a sausage, you see like a casing that's really kind of too hard. We've softened that casing, so it's a really nice mouthfeel on the sausage. And by the way, we've talked a lot all day about going outside of the bun. I'm doing the recipe of a bon mi sausage in the bun, but of course you could do this bunless. You could slice this up and put it on that tortilla pizza as a pizza cool. topping. So it's a super versatile product. Like I said, give it a couple slits, throw it on your grill, you get those beautiful grill marks. It's pre-cooked all the way, so you're just heating it up. And then you can get creative. Now, I lied to you, Jay. You know I also like ketchup on yeah. my sausage. So absolutely, ketchup and mustard has a, has a place here, but you could kind of gourmet it up. We talked earlier about sriracha mayo. I love that idea, so I stole it. We've got a little bit of sriracha mayo that I'm gonna put on that turkey dog. And this is where we, now we get into the bon mi flavors. I've got some shredded Napa cabbage. Look at the colors too. Our club burger had beautiful colors with the air yeah, yeah. tomato and we're thinking spring, summer, same idea. Some pickled shredded carrots, beautiful red bell pepper, some cucumber, fresh cilantro. I know some people don't like cilantro. I love it, leave it in there. Toss that up. Now, I've already mixed this with a little bit of sesame oil, some fish sauce, some soy sauce. Really, really getting those umami. Yeah, get those umami flavors there. Fish and sauce is your friend, Jay. Fish sauce, fish sauce is, is your friend, I don't use it Jay. a lot. I don't use you it a lot. No a dash, a dash. Things you can put fish sauce in. Just a few drops, and my gosh. Just a few just drops. Foods. Just Seriously. a few. You know, it's like, it's like how every great Caesar salad dressing has some anchovy in there and you don't yeah, even always, know it's there. Always. It's like, it's like that. Always. Trust me. Okay, always. okay, okay, okay. A little I'm bit of sesame told, seed. So all these flavors, the acidic punch of the slaw, the spice of the sriracha mayo plays really nice with the smokiness of that turkey sausage because it is hardwood smoke. So combined all of it, you might change, Jay, from a mayo okay. and ketchup person. You might. But doesn't this look better? Yeah, I know. That looks awesome. Come on. It's fabulous. On. Love fabulous. it. Leaner, versatile, perfect for the grill. Awesome. 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 So let's bring everyone in here, folks. Mm. Let's thank you so much for the beautiful, beautiful ideas. Love it. Let's bring everyone in here. We got the Debbie Cam going all over there. <laughs> let's zoom in on that coconut, Debbie. 
<laughs> and um, you want that coconut, don't you? That's there what you a go. coconut looks like. Look at that coconut right um, there. But thank you again to everyone, Richard. Sorry for all the jabs, but you know, I love good. the jabs. They're not gonna end, buddy. Just so you know, it's sent um, with love. It's they, sent exactly, with love, right? Kristen, you killed it with napkins today. Wow. Well, hey, Jay, can I have 30 more seconds just you to accompany? Have, you can have as much as you want, Debbie. All right. Sorry. I have to, I just have to show one more fantastic product okay, offering. That we have. Wait, like so get picture, uh, we all have Charlotte's juicy, juicy burger in our so heads I right now, right? We're all picturing, biting down in that juicy burger. So what happens when you have a juicy burger or a plate of wings? You see hands going up. Hey, can I get another napkin? Can I get another napkin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, a big stack of napkins get put down on the table. Ooh, this costs you money. So let's offer our guests or an awesome napkin that is going to get them through the entire meal without needing another one. Introducing the Cisco brand Touch of Elegance napkin. Touch of so, Elegance napkin. Touch of Touch Elegance. Of elegance. I don't, so I don't depending on where you are, right yeah, depending where you are in the country, this is either going to be in the Cisco brand that had the kids shown on the QR code right there, or in the national brand called New Linen. So a couple different size options available, but again, keep it in mind, it gives that guest that thick linen feel, and it also is going to save them units of measures used throughout the meal. Love it. Love a touch of touch of <laughs> touch of elegance. Yeah, I was gonna say touch, touch of, of elegance. elegance. Touch of elegance. It's, and I've That's used those before, right? They are nice. I know you're gonna be hitting me up for some of these at your house. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they're great. I love them. So thank you so much, Kristen. Uh, Katie, let's bring everyone in. There we go, everybody. So thanks again. This is time to take your camera and do a little picture of everyone. Because amazing stuff and all the great ideas you've done. So I can't thank you all of enough. I hope our customers, I know our customers in our industry are going to take great ideas from all of you that you just done an outstanding job sharing ideas for this 2022 golf season that's coming up. Charlotte, you blown away? I'm absolutely blown away. I'm blown away every time. I mean, look at this good looking <laughs> bunch of people that cooked their butts off and just really showcased and showed a whole bunch of great exactly. trends and great ideas and just what a i i'm i'm speechless again absolutely speechless this That's is amazing awesome. i know so this is great so everyone we're gonna <laughs> thank oh, you Debbie, for the coconut i love that uh -huh. yeah, we got all the mugs right so thanks again everyone else so just a few things really quick we have another show coming up here at three o'clock eastern time it's our last show we did three shows we had a pre-show pre-game show with matt rolf uh, a great discussion. All the shows are going to be re-ran tonight, also on our channels, and then over the weekend. Plus, you can watch these all on demand on Cisco Canada's YouTube channel, as well as our Facebook channel, and now Cisco Virtual Kitchen on Spotify. You can actually watch them on Spotify, not just listen. Like Richard Yay. listens to Spotify all the time. <laughs> now you can finally watch our shows on Spotify, which is awesome. But I uh, thanks again to everyone that tuned in. Watch this later. Also subscribe and follow Cisco on Cisco's Virtual Kitchen on all of our social channels. We are the only live food service weekly streaming show out there, bringing you enormous amounts of content all about our industry, from cooking to marketing to solutions. And like today's food show that is held over three days, or three days, held over three hours. <laughs> Feels like three days, doesn't it, Charlotte? Like days. Um, maybe a little bit. Maybe yeah. a little bit. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling and it's it a little bit. it's all real. But I get excited more and more as I'm seeing all these great, trendy ideas and really, really pumped. I mean, that's why we do it. We love food, right? Yeah, we love, we love food. food. We love, we this love all the stuff that comes with food, the napkins, the takeout containers. We love all of that. That's what we're here I'm for. Not sure so. about the coconut yet, but I'm warm enough. I, I love the coconut. I don't, I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, actually, yeah. You have one on top of your shoulders, Jay. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Everyone that else was have my a friend Richard. That was yeah, for my friend yes. Richard. Richard's there we go. Good. Thanks again, everyone else. Tune in three o'clock here in another hour. Just so just shy of an hour. 
And we'll be right back. And thanks again, everyone else tuning in. And uh, Katie, it's time to roll that outro.